you say you started building the uh, the, the scooters, or you know, just for fun, really. Your first yep. one was the XR one. I've seen pictures of it; it looks really cool. And then, and you went to from that to building, you know, the custom bikes. I mean, why? I mean, had you built a custom bike in the UK before you went to the states, or did this all happen when you went into the states? Revelator L. All right, I'll try and keep this concise, but it is a story. Yeah. So, yeah. so what happened was Exile, you know, Exile One as we now know it, but in that yeah. at, at that time we just called it Exile. We yeah. had no idea what was coming. Um, was you know a very intricate custom Lambretta, you know, and for for people viewing at home who don't really know what a custom, you know, this was a lamb chop. This yeah, yeah, was yeah. Oh, yeah. down to the frame, extended, twisted, yeah, yeah. forced motorcycle handlebars, coffin tank, the whole nine yards. Anyway, I tried to put it in the Kent Custom Bike Show, if you remember that from yeah, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. So I wrote to the Hells Angels and yeah. said, hey, I want to put my scooter in your bike show. And they wrote back a very nice letter and said, look, whilst it's a very cool bike, we can't really guarantee the safety of, you know, your Lambretta parked in our bike show, you know, back yeah, then yeah. Mods, and, mods and rockers were still a real thing back then. Sure, sure. Uh, so, but, but come to the show anyway. So buddy of mine lent me a Z650. I'd never, to be honest with you, I was, you know, barely 20 or 21, maybe. I, I hadn't even really ridden a big bike properly yeah. before. So a friend of mine lent me a Z650. I rode all the way to London, turn up all the way up the M5. I got back, and the very next weekend, I went to a scooter rally, printed some raffle tickets, sold them off for 50 pence each, raffled the exile on the stage on the Saturday night, bought a Z Thou and a Z650, ripped that down, and Exile 3 was a Z650, sort of fairly predictable, you know, buckhorn apes and yeah. fat bob <clears throat> tank. But, you know, it got into Backstreet Heroes and... Um, you know, and then I think Exile Four was a Harley, and so it so it went on. So I'd done a few, and yeah. you know, whatever I'd done was really dependent on what budget I had in my pocket at the time. But it was only over here that it sort of snowballed, if you like, and um, you know I was able to really get into the Harley scene. 